In example 2, we're going to look at a couple word problems. Part A, as of 2010, the tallest man-made structure is 828 meters tall. The skyscraper over here. And so we want to find out how tall is that skyscraper in feet. So we're looking at converting 828 meters into feet. So let's look for that conversion fact. Meters into feet. This time we're going to be using this conversion fact right here. It turns meters into feet. Point uh, three zero four eight meters is a foot. So we need to make sure I put that in the bottom. Point three zero four eight meters is one foot. Again, that conversion fact needed to be in the bottom so that I could have meters canceling, and my answer would remain in feet. Okay. So my calculator here. I need eight hundred and twenty-eight divided by, since 888 times 1 is 1, I don't need to do that, you can do uh, divided by 0.3048. The answer of 2,716.54 is in feet. Okay, let's look at the next example. This one says that red meat production in Iowa is 585 million pounds per year. So let's make sure we write all these units down correctly. 585 million is one of the units. Million pounds. Then when it says per, remember that per is a division word. That's going to go underneath the division line right here. Per year. Now, oftentimes, we don't even write the division line. Like in this last example, over 1, I don't need to write over 1 to know that it's there. But when I do have a unit that's in denominator per year, I better make sure I write it in the appropriate place. Okay, and what do we want to do? Find what Iowa's meat production is in ounces per day. Okay, so we're going to be multiplying by a couple different factors here. I need to go from pounds into ounces and from years into days. So we can only do one at a time. Let's work on pounds first. What can I do to turn pounds into ounces? Remembering that one pound is 16 ounces. Pounds are on top. So my fact about pounds, one pound must be in the bottom versus 16 ounces on the top. That's going to turn this problem right now into million ounces per for my division year. Let's keep going. Let's multiply by another conversion fact in an attempt to get rid of year, since I don't want year, I want day. So I'm going to put year on the top. And I know that one year is 365 days. This is going to allow year on the bottom with year on the top to cancel. And now let me check the units again. Million ounces per day. Just what I want, ounces per day. So my answer is going to be, let's grab the calculator, 585 times 16, since both those numbers are in the numerator, divided by 365, since that number is in the denominator. So my answer is 25.64, 25.64, the units that are left are million ounces per day. So 25.64 million ounces per day. It's how much red meat is produced in Iowa. 25.64 million ounces per day. And again, watching where the units are in this problem is very important. And starting off with the fact that it was million pounds per year, I could set it up like this and then just make sure per is my division line and just go through one unit at a time to turn it to the one you want and then go through the next unit. Let's take a look at another one. A driver travels at 50 miles per hour. Another per problem. So we're going to say 50 miles per hour. 
what is the driver's speed in meters per second? So we're going to do two things. We're going to convert miles into meters and hours into seconds. Let's work on miles first. Let's see what we can do with miles. I can go from miles to kilometers. These other M's right here are all in meters. It's the only one I have that has miles in it. So I could either go miles into kilometers and from kilometers to meters, or I could go miles into feet and then feet into meters. Since I, um, I'm going to use that conversion, if I w wanted to use the miles into kilometers, what I could then do is go from kilometers to meters by using the metric prefixes, knowing that there are uh, 10 hectometers in a kilometer, or 100 decameters in a kilometer, or 1,000 meters in a kilometer. I'm going to go ahead and use these, these two conversion facts here since I can see them both. So I'm going to start with miles into feet. So one mile is 5,280 feet. Miles are on the top, so I'm going to use miles in the bottom. One mile is 5,280 feet. So that doesn't get me where I want to go, but it's a good start. I don't want to be in feet, I want to be in meters. So I have to put the number of feet in the bottom, the number of meters in the top to make that fact true. And feet in meters, it's one foot is 0 0.3048 meters. 0 0.3048 meters is one foot. Okay, so that'll have feet canceling off and I'll have the units left being meters. Let's go ahead and work on the other part we needed to change. Hours need to be changed to seconds. I don't need a fact for this. I know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. Hours on the bottom here, so they need to go on the top over here. So one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, and that's going to make hours cancel. And that's not where I want to be. I don't want to be in minutes, so I'm going to use one more fact go from minutes to seconds. I know that one minute is 60 seconds. And that'll have minutes and minutes canceling. And my final units right now should be minutes per second. Oh, I'm sorry, meters per second. I can't wait, minutes per second, that's not a, that's a meter indicator right here. Meters per divided by seconds. Okay, so we've got everything written down. We just need to come up with that answer. So we're going to multiply all the numbers on the top and divide by all the numbers on the bottom. So I start with 50 times, what was our next number? 5,280 times 0 .3048 divided by 60 and divided again by 60. It didn't look just like that. Hit enter. The answer is 22.35, we're on two places, 22.35, and the units are meters per second. All right, let's look at the next one. A nurse has on hand 500 milligrams of morphine in 500 milliliters of normal saline. She needs to administer morphine 80 milligrams per hour in a continuous IV infusion to a patient with cancer pain. How many milliliters per hour will she set in the controller? Okay. The thing about these type of problems, and you may see one of these on your project, is that the language sounds unfamiliar because it's about medicine as opposed to about distance, speed, or weight. But it's actually a little bit easier than the ones we have just done. What I want to start with on this one is what I'm giving to the patient. So I'm giving 80 milligrams per hour. So we'll start with that. And find my goal. My goal is to figure out how many milliliters per hour to set on the controller. Now, on my conversion fact, there's not going to be anything that's going to turn milligrams to milliliters. This right here is not going to help. <laughs> Let me get rid of it. And think about what's really going on in this situation. Milligrams 
will not turn into milliliters because one's a measurement of weight and one's a measurement of fluid capacity. But I've got this conversion fact earlier in my problem that told me that the morphine was diluted into saline, that therefore making a liquid solution out of it. This is the conversion fact I'm going to use for this problem, saying that there are milligrams are on top, so I'm going to put my 500 milligrams in the bottom, and that's been diluted into 500 milliliters of saline. And I'm going to use this right here to convert away from milligrams and into milliliters. And then I'm done because I know milliliters per hour. Let's just multiply these things together. The answer on this one is going to be, I'm going to cheat right here because I know 500 divided by 500 is 1. So this is just going to be 80 milliliters per hour. So it's a matter of how to read this question, and I guess it was a little bit easier than it had to be because of the fact that this was both 500. Um, but it wouldn't have mattered. Whatever numbers those were, it wouldn't have mattered. I would have set them up the same way. And knowing that there's going to be some sort of conversion inside of the problem like this one to convert from one type of unit to another type of unit.